Okay. Ten rounds of 300 blackout. <clears throat> 7.62 by 35. Uh, 120 grain Remington hollow points. Um, just basically listed as target ammo. Two targets downrange have a steel silhouette just to the left at 200 yards, and a it's a two thirds size silhouette, and then just to the right of that is a full size uh, green paper target. Uh, human silhouette. Ten rounds. Uh, I put five on paper and then five on steel. at headshot and we'll see what the drop is. Shot and I can see a bullet placement from here was center of chest, uh, just low of the bar. I'm going to put the crosshairs level the top of the head. Uh, in other words, top edge of the head, top, you know, center line of the was actually a headshot so it's looks like a it depending on how much that's you know made with trigger flinch the looks like a six to eight inch drop that looks almost the exact same shot aim to go from more towards the center of mass on a larger target because I'm really close to the right hand side. Very close to the original shot, maybe a couple inches higher. That shot, I think I flinched and pulled it. It's a little low, um, lower left hand torso. And that's 10 rounds. Let me make the range cold and we'll stop the video.
keep filming. I'm just going to carry the phone downrange. And let's see what we got real quick. And since I'm lazy, we'll drive down. It's a five shot group at 200 yards and my point of aim was actually right about here like I said I wasn't wasn't sure what the holdover would be yet because the scope's got a it's a generic uh, holdover so now I've got a reference point to know where to aim and I also need to make a few adjustments <coughs> to center up the scope and it's more of the same That's from 200 yards.